Right guys, so we've finished um, the, oh, what are we call this bit? The bit before I play guitar bit. Editing the drums. Editing the drums. So we've done all the drums. Um, we're just having a, a cheeky one Um While we kind of pre-mix what I'm going to be playing over tomorrow. So um, it's just like a basic mix of the drums. Make sure that nothing's clipping out and if we needed to do any more we could do it. So, But we've finished so we've got 10 tunes done. Um, and I'll just show you what I've kind of done for that pre-edit kind of thing. So... Um, <laughs> Making sure that my um, my left overhead is pan left and stuff. My right overhead is pan right. My snare top and snare bottom are in good sync. Oh, sorry, bass far and bass near are, are in good sync. And then snare bottom, snare top. All of my toms are panned. Even though I haven't panned them on this track. <coughs> How much toms did you play on this track? So basically, I would just pan this guy left, because that's where he lives, and then pan this guy right, and then mix um, this bad boy according to. This is my guide track here, so I'm not really asked about that, as long as we can get a good mix. And then I'm running the, the hi-hats left. So you're kind of hearing the drum kit as you would if you were sitting behind it. That's kind of what I'm doing. Now, you might loads of people might give me loads of grief and say, oh, you shouldn't do it like that. I, at this stage, I really don't care. It's all about kind of just getting a good mix for me and my ears tomorrow, so I can um, I can get all the guitar parts done. Then we're gonna give it to the master of this, Mark Wainwright, over at Alien Sound Studios in Lancashire, and he's gonna sort us out the rest of the gubbins. So that's kind of what we've done. So everything's kind of mixed to a fairly decent level. You know what I mean? It's not like the best mix in the world, but it's good enough for me to work with tomorrow because it's guitar day tomorrow so if any of you guys have been watching the channel and you're all just totally about that guitar um then you're gonna get your kicks tomorrow because it's guitar day and i'll be doing loads of gear uh, mooney has officially wrapped I'm wrapped for today. he's wrapped for today so he's done um you can go yeah you can go oh, no. he's, he's, well he only he lives on beans and dreams so it's quite a cheap, uh, quite a cheap drummer. So that's it. Um, all of the guide tones, as I've told you before, are pretty much coming from the Helix, the Line Six. The Persona stuff has just been doing an amazing job. I just love Logic anyway, um, so that's that was pretty easy. Uh, and I hope you've enjoyed this. It's about, it's kind of new for us because we normally just go to studios, but this is the first time we've done it ourselves, and it's pretty good, isn't it? It's been fucking excellent. Yeah, yeah, I like the way you swear for no reason. It's because you're drunk. It's because he's drunk. Free whiskey. It is free whiskey. So, um, preset I've used for the one that you'll have heard in that demo is this this kind of Fender Funk kind of thing. Using these amazing um, uh, impulse responses from Three Sigma, which is just unreal. And um, yeah, just kind of chilling in the gaff. Got this pretty amazing gaff to live in for a week and record and 
it's just been truly awesome so i would recommend that to anyone if you're thinking about just like kind of grabbing some portable kit and going to record an album or two get it done make sure you take free whiskey you do need a bit of that and mooney's pad you want to make sure that you've got at least some type of mooney like pad no even though you have no you have handwriting like a very neat elf it's it's elvish it is definitely elvish so um yeah well done mooney mooney's Thank wrapped well done Ibanez. you you are also wrapped so well done you i might use you tomorrow um so yeah can i just say how uh, fantastic it's been working and playing with glover <laughs> we're best mates anyway and we've known each other since like 96 um, coming for a week in a uh, converted church and writing 10 tunes, what we've done, um, hanging out and just getting drunk at night and just writing and recording music has been absolutely an honour. So Glover. Thanks. And he's mixing and uploading all the videos for you guys. And he's You're, a man like it. He's right, man. That was the best. You read the script perfectly. <laughs> a week with best mates is the best thing it, ever. Oh, man, that, that is. And thanks for Zildjian for and supplying Tama, us with an amazing definitely. kit. Tama have just, again, come through like I am Mike. Um, and we got red lights as well. I don't know whether it means that this place used to be a Satan whorehouse. It's some type of satanic, red light thing. Satanic whorehouse. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so one of the tracks is going to have to be called Satanic Whorehouse. <laughs> I've wrote it already. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, guys, so that is kind of it. Um, I'll just sort of focus my pie face in. Um, so, a little bit drunk, a little bit happy. Ten tunes down. up so I thought I'd make myself a nice little can so I've made myself this little tent for buzz I don't know why it's buzz just is So we've pretty much wrapped the heavy stuff. Well, well Mooney cooks chicken. <laughs> Just a... <laughs> um, Mooney um, decided to make some roast potatoes for both of us. That's for that's for two people, isn't it? That's yeah. That's a fail, uh, bra. Um. Well, there's no oil, and we ran out of potatoes. How many potatoes did you bring? Two potatoes, half a potato. How many potatoes did you bring? Not enough, obviously. Right, so I've retired this guy. I'm not sure I might do some overdubs with him at home, but he's done for today. So I'm now going to switch to this girl 
because she sounds absolutely truly amazing clean and she's got this like amazing kind of split coil out of phase thing so I'm going to use that for the clean tones see how we get on all the amps are going to stop vibrating very soon because um, I'm going to go super quiet so that's it, roll on guitar day That's it, last day, game over, everything's packed away. We got pretty wrecked last night and listened back to what we've got. And it sounds pretty epic. There's 12, 14 tracks of guitar audio, 14, 16 tracks of drums. Um, and they all sound pretty good. And the magician that is Mark Wainwright will make Ennett and sound amazing anyway. So we've pretty much given him a full palette of different tones. So a clean tone with a boost pedal on it, a slightly gritty tone, and a completely um, rocked out full gain, smooth, saturated type of tone. And then for the clean stuff, everything was just super clean with one really jangly amp and one quite dark amp. Um, so all done, really. So he's got uh, all of that. Plus as well, I can always track at home as well. But it was just great to be able to capture this space, really, and capture whatever this place does to things and stuff. Um, so I'm just packing my guitars away. It's always good to um, have yourself a nice pair of cleaning boxes. Something that maybe you've never worn. Or maybe you've buffed it gently on your soft peach. I don't know, but yeah, they work. And they're lint free, so you don't get stuck in your cracks. Like. Um, this guy was used a lot. And, and rightly so, because it's absolutely an epic guitar. So I really loved him. So he goes, he goes back in his cage and I'll um, kind of clean him before I pack him up. And then a lot of use for this guy as well. So all the clean tones are pretty much done on this, um, which is good because it sounded amazing. So I do love this guitar with all of my heart. So that is my um, go-to kind of guy for kind of funkier kind of tones. Didn't really use my gem. But I'll track with that. And me premium was used pretty much for doing all of the initial tracking, which is, again, pretty rad. Um, so, yeah, just going through my equipment list. Making sure I've ticked everything off. Mooney's taking a poo, I think. We thought there were just girls in there. I'm sorry. Oh, it's just us dudes. Here. What are you doing here? Jerry was just taking a shit. No, I'm Are you pooing, Moon? I'm oh, he's packing. Two things to begin with P. Um, and then we're going to have some breakfast and wait for the cavalry to arrive and then get gone. So I hope you've enjoyed the series. It's the first for me in the channel. I've never really vlogged because I th it's boring and that. I think. I don't know. You guys seem to have enjoyed it. Um, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows what's next? So we'll see you back for regular viewing, dudes. So um, demos and gear reviews and all that stuff. I'm going to look at the Presonus gear in depth. Um, some road stuff. Um, and obviously Arbanes and Laney stuff all of the time. So peace and love. And um, I will leave you with this stony-faced lady. We call her Betty.
a video a day. It's, it is. And my eye's doing very well, by the way. Oh, of course, yeah. Hey. His eye's pretty much healed. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Take it super rad and cool, and um, hopefully we'll have some kind of like guitar -y stuff tomorrow. I hope so. So, loads of guitar porn. Take it easy, people.